OK, so uh, it's a list programming and uh, uh, the dialect what we are going to use here is the scheme language, the scheme dialect. OK, so as I have said, it is functional programming, so we have to keep calling the functions and uh, we uh, we don't have uh, much syntax for this also. OK, so uh, since it is the functional. All of us know whenever we say functional programming, uh, it will be nothing but um, there is the contents. Sorry, contents it's missing. Um, so whenever we say it's a, a functional programming, uh, it will be nothing but uh, it's a functions. So we will be having certain details hidden. So in other words, we can say it to be as abstraction. So here in this uh, by using this uh, uh, programming language, what we are going to see is we are going to hide certain details uh, in terms of functions. That is in terms of procedures as well as we can hide some uh, some details uh, as a data. So we will be having we will be learning how to make the abstraction in terms of data as well as in terms of procedures. OK, so that is what is this list programming. So coding part. So it's uh, there is nothing much uh, when compared with your uh, C, Java, Python and all those things. You don't have to uh, memorize the mini syntax part and all. We have very less syntax. Uh, the uh, how you have to declare your uh, variable uh, as well as uh, the uh, how you have to declare your uh, functions, defi define your functions. Everything will look almost similar. OK, so the for memorizing purpose, there is nothing much. And since it is functions. We don't have uh, in uh, according to this, uh, we don't have uh, as I said, uh, there is no much syntax. So there is no uh, we don't have uh, like uh, looping statements, nothing like that. So everything has to be uh, since it is functions, we have to keep calling the functions. So it will be recursive function calls itself. OK, here we will not say it to be as functions. We will say it to be as procedures. So it will be recursive procedure calls, which we keep doing it. OK. So the other beauty of this language is. Uh, you can uh, return a function as well as you can pass a function as an argument. That is another thing which you will be learning or which you will be seeing in this particular course. So the thing is uh, uh, till now uh, you uh, the usual languages, whichever you have done, you you will be passing values or uh, variables as your arguments or as a return type. But here you can along with the data, you can even uh, pass or return uh, the procedures also. That is the functions also you can pass or return as an argument. OK, so that is about this course. It is if you uh, listen to the class and if you understand in the class itself, it is very easy. Nothing much at all. So as I have said, uh, just for you to uh, have uh, the gist of how the syntax, why I'm saying it is very simple. This is the major thing which you will be come across. That is everything will be written within the parenthesis and uh, we will be using the term define mostly. Then name. And the value. This is how we will be declaring a variable. That's it. The same way only we will be uh, with small modification. We will be using it for functions also. Similarly, if you are having any uh, expressions to be solved, this is how it will be written. That is the top one. That is plus seven, nine, eleven. So it is understood that it is seven plus nine plus eleven. So if you are having the operator, uh, you can use the operator once. And all the values can be club, uh, put together. OK, so. Nothing much to memorize as a syntax part when compared with other programming language. OK. So where you will be using this, especially you will be using these uh, functional type programming, uh, especially in your uh, machine learning. That is the uh, machine learning in the sense uh, that is uh, the R language. 
you, you will come across these type of uh, functional programming part. So it will be useful for you if you uh, study or understand these concepts uh, now itself. OK, and there are certain uh, built in functions uh, here in this course. You will be studying what uh, exactly those built in functions are, how it is getting work, uh, how, uh, what are the working, uh, how it is working and all. So that uh, when you are using those functions, you will be uh, clearly understand. Uh, you, you can clearly understand what is the purpose of it and uh, when to use it, how to use it, especially when you are using it in these languages. OK, these are uh, all in all these places. You will be using this functional uh, programming language. Especially the list uh, list programming part. OK, so don't think uh, it's of no use. So the next thing is how this course, how we are going to evaluate or how the course is getting uh, going to be um, how we have uh, split it. So entire course plan I have uh, put up. OK, uh, so since it is uh, four, uh, four credit course, we will uh, get uh, somewhere around 48 hours. So 48 hours along with tutorial. OK. So four hours per week. So you can go through. This is the entire course plan. OK. So which textbook you have to refer? So the textbook, uh, it's uh, um, the author's name is Abelson and Sussman. Textbook name itself is uh, Structure and Interpretation of Computer Program, second edition. Um, and uh, I have provided the link as well as I will be uploading the textbook uh, there itself. Uh, and uh, this is the old course. Uh, which is uh, uh, the actual author's uh, um, lecture. If you are interested, you can uh, listen to the actual author's uh, lectures also. If you go to this uh, website, you can find uh, lectures uh, there. If you can go there, uh, you can find the actual authors. That is the uh, Abelson uh, uh, giving the lecture for uh, for this uh, uh, structure and interpretation of computer program. So you can go through that if you are interested. It's a uh, from MIT course for them. OK. Coming to the reference, all these are the reference for the for this particular subject. OK. Coming to the evaluation part. So purely this is tentative right now. We will be finalizing it only after the class committee meeting. OK. So what uh, we have planned is uh, to go with 50 50 pattern that is 50 internals 50 externals. So continuous assessment where we are planning to have three quizzes. Uh, so quiz one and quiz three. Uh, it's uh, the uh, quiz uh, with respect to your uh, uh, what we are uh, teaching taking it in the class. So it will be conducted for 10 marks and it will be converted to seven marks. Uh, this is just tentative. The finalized one we will be uh, we will share it uh, after the class committee meeting. The second quiz we are planning to have it based on the tutorial. So based on the tutorial means the, based on the programs, uh, what you are going to learn. And that will be converted to six marks. Like executing the program, uh, uh, showing the output or uh, sharing the output. Sharing the program along with the output part. OK. And uh, this time uh, there is no T1, T2. Uh, instead, we will be having only midterm exam. And that is for 30 marks. So this 30 marks we will be having online plus Viva. So online exam, uh, we are planning to uh, have it for 30 marks converted to 10 marks. The weightage will be 10 marks. And the Viva, which will be conducted for 20 marks, the weightage also same 20 marks. OK, similarly, end semester exam, which will be ha uh, which uh, uh, will be for 50 marks. Same online plus uh, Viva. Where uh, you will be conducting for 50 marks and converted to 20 Viva for 30 months. So this is what is the tentative plan. For evaluation. Uh, we'll share it. Uh, once uh, the class committee is done. That time 
So I'll be sharing along with uh, the uh, course plan. Okay. So right now you can see the course plan in the slide itself. Okay. Okay. Just uh, to show how this tutorial will be, the racket is the one which we will be using it. There's a simple notation how it looks. Uh, you can also download it. Uh, anyways, we will be downloading it uh, on the day that day itself. We can download it. It, it doesn't take much time. Uh, so just to show, uh, have a look and feel of how how it looks. So this is what uh, how uh, you will be having to partition for it. Uh, the program uh, you can if it is uh, and the the other thing is this is an interpreter. OK, so if you have a single line to be executed, then you can go and execute at the bottom part. Each expressions can be given over at the bottom and if you press enter key, it will show you the output part. If you have a function or something to be written uh, and uh, save it for uh, future purpose, then you can go and uh, type it at the top and you can save it. OK, so anyways, we will see um, how it will be. So something like this, what I have told us. Uh, so if you are having, uh, you can uh, define the function so at the top and you can uh, call it, execute it and see the output as such. So that's it about the entire course where the software which what we are going to use during tutorial, the evaluation pattern, the textbook part, the course plan. So since the count is less, so today I'm not going to start the class. So I, I just uh, thought I'll just give you the introduction about the course. It is very easy if you focus in the class itself. OK. So we'll continue in the next class.